So in this demo, we're gonna program our first app using ROS. Having our workspace created in the last tutorial, we head there, and now we go to sources. Right here, I've prepared a ROS early takeoff and land example. If we take a look at the code, this ROS package has the general structure having a seed make leaks .txt, a package.xml, and finally the sources. The package.xml contains basic information about this package, such as the name, the version, the description, maintainers, what's the license released under. And finally here, uh, we've got um, the dependencies, both at the build time and runtime. It is important to set the dependencies appropriately so that this ROS package uh, basically doesn't have any issues when, when being launched. The CMake list.txt includes general information about how to compile this package. It's also important to set the right targets when it comes to generating binaries and installing them in this particular case. Let's take a look at the code. So uh, in this ROS package, we've just got a simple file called main. Uh, we've got a main function where we define a RAID, uh, the name of the uh, ROS node being created by this ROS package is map ROS takeoff. And what we do is basically use the map ROS, uh, ROS package that should already be installed to basically interact with the autopilot. We uh, use a service called map ROS set mode. And we call this service to set the guided mode within the autopilot. Once we are in guided mode, we uh, basically um, call another service called map ROS uh, command CMD arming. And we pretty much uh, ask the autopilot to arm itself. Once we've armed the autopilot, we take off. Again, uh, requesting a service and making a call to the service. And then we pretty much do stuff. In this simple example, we are just sleeping during 10 seconds. But here, you could pretty much do anything you, you would like to, such as computing the camera images and doing whatever recognition you'd like to. Finally, once we are done, we pretty much use the mapros command land service and we call it with the right parameters to pretty much land. And that's pretty much it. These last lines uh, are not needed in this particular example, so let's just go ahead and comment them. All right, that's it. So about 80 lines of code to make an autonomous takeoff and land using ROS. Now, taking account that there's a lot of comments to make this code readable, but still, not that complicated. So, now that we've seen the code, let's go ahead and compile this package. So, uh, from the root of our catkin directory, we're going to invoke catkin make we're going to use the minus minus package flag to indicate that we want to compile this ROS early takeoff and land. Now, generally, if we didn't include this flag, this parameter, uh, we would compile the whole CatKing um, workspace um, ROS packages contained under source. Uh, in this particular case, we just have one, but anyhow, it's a good practice to just be sure that you compile what you want and not everything because people tend to have a lot of packages within a single workspace.
So, once we are done, we're pretty much ready to launch this package. So what we would do is to run ROS run and now we would use the ROS Erlen. And right now we cannot find it. The reason why we can't find it is because we need to source the devil setup.bash. So if we go to devil, we'll find out here a setup bash that corresponds with the packages uh, compiled right now. So source bash. And right now we should be able to do it. There it is. Here it is. Now, don't mind about the error kind of messages. That's just because we said it wrong. But right now, the ROS package is changing the mode of the autopilot. So all right, once we are done, um, we can double check this by basically uh, using APM Planner. So we are going to change modes and we will basically check it that way. So we launch the script and we can see how we first changed the guided and then after 10 seconds the vehicle will get into land mode and now the drone would land. Let's do it one more time. So the vehicle is initially in land mode. We're going to launch the uh, Rosser let takeoff land node that's going to make the vehicle change into guided, get armed, take off, and now do stuff for 10 seconds, and finally change to land, and pretty much land. So another way of uh, testing um, pretty much the, this ROS package is to use map proxy. So we can launch map proxy against our autopilot. And uh, right here, we just uh, launch the ROS node and we'll see how the modes are going to start changing. We first go to guided, we take off, sorry, we arm, we then take off, we wait for 10 seconds, and finally we change to land, and the drone lands. That's pretty much it. So the drone basically takes off automatically, it goes up to 8 meters and it stays there for about 20 seconds and then it changes to land mode and automatically lands. There it is.